Good evening. An Albany police officer is off the streets tonight and at the center of an investigation in Colony. A child claims the off-duty officer named Michael Gerasi, Gerasi Jr. Excuse me, hit him in the chest on Halloween night outside the officer's home. The child admitted to throwing fruit at the officer's house but claims Gerasi just went too far. Now, no one's been arrested or charged in this, but police are also looking into what happened. And this isn't the first allegation against Gerasi. A Halloween prank now has Colony police involved in a case investigators say involves Albany officer Michael Gerasi and five kids, including a 12-year-old boy. In a report obtained by CBS 6, the officer told police he heard several loud crashes outside his home that night. He then says he followed a group of kids he believed threw pears at his house. He says he drove his car through a parking lot, chased one of them, and grabbed him by the hood of his sweatshirt and detained him before police arrived. The child claims Gerasi grabbed him and threw him on the ground, then up against his car and hit him in the chest. Police say the child appeared to have red marks on his chest and was transported by EMS to get checked out. Gerasi claims he identified himself as a police officer and says the kid has ongoing problems with his own son. No one's been arrested in this case and gerasi has been placed on administrative duty by Albany police. If his name sounds familiar, you've seen him before. We first met Gerasi in 2006 when he went to court, accused of using excessive force and roughing up a 73-year-old prisoner on the job, pulling him by his ankles out of a van. Gerasi was suspended, but not long after, a grand jury cleared him of any criminal charges. In 2013, he was also removed from patrol duties as police investigated complaints against Gerasi. A spokesperson then told CBS 6 people arrested by the officer claimed he was abusive during their arrests. In this case, Colony Police tell CBS 6 they're still investigating, working to figure out who's a suspect and who's a victim here. Again, Gerasi has not been arrested or charged. Colony Police tell me they're still looking into what happened. Gerasi's attorney just spoke to me a few minutes ago. She says she didn't want to comment while this investigation continues, only telling me she's hopeful common sense will prevail and no charges come down.